The family of Michael Bell, the Farmington fire captain killed in that September propane explosion, has now hired a lawyer to explore what happened and do that independently of state investigators. NECN's Dustin Budkowski looks at what they might learn. What happened? What chain of events led to the fatal Farmington explosion? Questions Berman Simmons, a Maine law firm, may try to answer on behalf of Captain Michael Bell's family. What do people know? When do they know it? Should somebody have known of that leak ahead of time? Jeff Thaler, a professor at UMaine School of Law, thinks the Bell's family's lawyers could file a civil suit if they conclude someone's responsible for the propane leak that caused the blast. Their lawyer is already saying he's working with experts to gain a more complete understanding how the tragedy happened so his firm can determine how best to hold those responsible accountable as, quote, we pursue justice for the family and the community more broadly. They would be seeking monetary damages. How fast the law firm and the family be able to move will depend on what the investigation shows. Multiple investigations, in fact. OSHA announced this week it's inspecting three companies that worked on the destroyed building, including one that dropped off propane days before the explosion. Meanwhile, state fire marshals are trying to figure out how that propane ended up in the building's basement. The Bell's lawyer's work could then go beyond that, building the fastest path to a suit should there be one. Lawyers already have model cases to work off of, like a fatal gas explosion in Yarmouth, Maine, years ago. They don't happen very much, but they do happen, unfortunately. As for when a lawsuit, if there is one, gets filed, that remains unclear. The experts we talked to don't think it'll happen until the state's conclusions are released. In Portland, Dustin Blakowski, News Center, Maine.